Hello everyone, Princess Megabyte here. I'm going to show you how to add the Hashem Wizard into Kodi. So first of all, head over to System and then File Manager. On this screen, go to Add Source and we're going to put in this address. When you have finished entering the address, simply click on Done. So after this, you have to give your source a name. So I'm simply going to call it Hashem or Hashem. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. And go back to the home screen. Next, we want to enter the system menu and then go down to add-ons. We want to choose install from zip file and we're going to go down to the Hashem folder and install everything one at a time. Okay, I'm just going to go back to install from a zip file, back to the Hashem folder and, inst and install the second file. And then when that's installed, I'll install the third file. And now I'm going to go back in the folder and install the last file. Now that's done, you want to go back to your home screen by clicking the home button on the bottom of the screen and then head on over to videos. We want to go into add-ons and then click on the Hassam add-on wizard. I'm going to click on the first um, link because that's the most up-to-date one and it should start downloading. Then it will start extracting and installing. Right, if you're doing this on an Amazon Fire Stick, it will ask you to pull the plug, so that is what you'll have to do. As I'm doing this on a Windows computer, Windows will shut down Kodi for me. But like I said, if you're on a Fire TV or Amazon Fire Stick, you'll have to pull the plug out when it tells you to do so. And as you can see, I've restarted Kodi and my wallpaper has changed, but all my channels and add-ons are on there. It's put a bunch of stuff on there, all the popular stuff, most well, most of it, I think. You probably could add more, but there's enough on there for me. And the maintenance tool there, you can use to change the wallpaper if you don't like the Hassan one. You can also remove the little weather thing in the corner as well. There are ways of ch changing your skin and wallpaper. You can even remove the splash screen because when Cody starts up now you will see Hassam.com but you can remove that. But I'm not going to cover that in this video. Maybe I'll make another video in the future to show you how to do those things. Anyway, I'm just going to leave this up on the screen at the moment so you can see all the add-ons and channels I have got on Cody now. Okay, I'm just going to shut down Cody by clicking exit. If I click power off system, it would shut down my computer. But if you're on a fire stick, you won't have that option to power off the system. You'd have to exit. Um, anyway, thanks for watching.